Question 3. A. Carbon disulfide is a flammable and reacts readily with oxygen, uh, as shown in this uh, reaction 1. So after combustion, it forms CO2 and uh, SO2. Um, table 3.1 uh, shows the standard enthalpy change of formation and uh, uh, molar entropy for the uh, the products and the reactant and uh, calculates the standard gives free energies uh, in kilojoule per mole for the reaction 1 at 25 degrees C so first um, of course to calculate the Gibbs uh, free energy you need to calculate the enthalpies and uh, uh, this uh, entropy um, so uh, after that use the Gibbs equal to enthalpy minus T uh, entropy the change in the entropy uh, so you get the values so in order to get this uh, the enthalpy change uh, of the reaction uh, you need to use the formations of products minus the formation of reactant uh, formation of product is product is co2 and so2 okay so you use the uh, formation of products uh, co2 uh, so it's negative uh, 393.5 okay after that uh, sum up with the these uh, two times of the so2 formation of so2 Okay, this one because the coefficient is 2 here so uh, times 2 minus the formation of reactant uh, reactants uh, they are uh, CS2 and oxygen so oxygen formation is 0 so we just need to use the formation of CS2 uh, so it's minus 116.7 uh, so the entropy enthalpy you get the uh, negative uh, 1103.8 kilojoule per mole Okay, the uh, change in the entropy, uh, you use the similar calculation. Use the molar entropies of the products minus the molar entropy of the reactant. Uh, basically, it's the same calculation. You just substitute the different values here. Uh, product is uh, CO2 uh, plus uh, two times of this uh, SO2 entropy minus uh, the CS2 entropy. Okay, and of course, uh, three times of the oxygen here, right here, this one, three times. So the uh, entropy change, you get the negative uh, 413.2. Okay, once you get this uh, enthalpy change and entropy change, then you substitute these two uh, into the Gibbs equation. Uh, so uh, Gibbs equal to negative 1103.8 minus uh, T is uh, in Kelvin. So 273 plus the 225, you get 298 Kelvin uh, times the entropy. Uh, remember this entropy because it's in Joule per Kelvin per mole. You need to convert Joule to kilojoule. That's why here you need to divide by 1000. So eventually uh, you get uh, gives uh, uh, free energy uh, is uh, negative 1061.1 kilojoule. Part B. Carbon disulfide reacts with chlorine to form a tetrachloromethane, as shown in reaction two. Uh, enthalpy is given, and the change in entropy change is given. So now you need to calculate the maximum temperature for the reactions two to be feasible. Uh, whenever you get this question, uh, so you just need to make one assumption. Uh, again, use back the Gibbs equation. Delta G equal to delta H minus T delta S. Uh, so just make one assumption. When delta G equal to zero, what is the temperature? So delta G equal to zero means uh, zero equal to delta H minus T delta S. So uh, the T is equal to delta H over delta S. Uh, again, make sure you convert the, this uh, joule to kilojoule. The delta S need to divide by thousand. Right, so eventually you get uh, 715.7 Kelvin. So this is a max maximum temperature uh, for the reactions to be feasible. Whenever they ask uh, the temperature to be feasible, you just make this assumption and get the correct T. Okay, that's what you need to do. Um, so that's all. Thank you.